An update now on a story we first brought you back in 2019 about a sail drone that left Newport Harbor to study the ocean. Later this year, more of these sail drones will be leaving Newport. 12 News meteorologist TJ Del Santo joins us now with a look at what they will be doing. Six sail drones will be leaving from Newport, and their discoveries will further improve weather forecasting. This sail drone left Newport in 2019 and provided important data from the Gulf Stream to Jamie Poulter and her team at URI's Graduate School of Oceanography. The Gulf Stream is a very powerful ocean current. Um, it transports like 30 million cubic meters of water per second. That's four times the amount of water carried by all the world's freshwater rivers combined. This river of water can influence climate and weather patterns. If we're talking about uh, medium term forecasting to, uh, to weeks, then we want to know where the Gulf Stream is. Six more sail drones will leave Newport for the Gulf Stream, moving only with wind and powered by the sun. They'll gather important data. Measuring temperature, humidity, wind speed, all of that. And then it's basically like a research vessel below the ocean measuring sea surface temperature, sea surface salinity, oxygen, carbon. Poulter is interested in the carbon dioxide absorbed by the Gulf Stream, which can help researchers better understand global warming. The ocean provides this service of removing about a quarter of the CO2 that humans emit to the atmosphere. And so we really want to understand if that ocean CO2 will persist into the future. Philip Brown, who works on the European computer model, said Doppler radar on the sail drones will give them information about Gulf Stream currents and positioning. And it's this 3D picture which will allow us to actually figure out how to improve our model. And that's something which we've not had before. The funding for this research comes from Google. I'm TJ Del Santo, 12 News.